Okay, so we've covered pi and bar charts, histograms. What about time series? So if we've got a, a single quantitative variable, so it's a number measured over time. Like time series, like profits over time. Maybe we have a business confidence level over time. Share market over time. Common idea here is a line or a bar chart. And you might have seen like the line chart looking at stock prices or stock index prices. Let's take another example. Let's look at consumer price index, which depending in, on if you've done economics already, you'll know what that means. About how expensive products are to consumers, the general products. And this is sourced from stat.go.jp, actual data, 2016 seasonally adjusted CPI for Japan. And the 100 reference level is uh, 2015. So you can see it's relatively stable here for the first sort of what nine months. It's, it's slightly cheaper, then it gets slightly more expensive, but oh, it's so hard. I can't really, you know, looking at this table, oh, it's, was there a trend here? Is there not? Mm, maybe if we put this in a line graph or a line chart. Now we can see, ah, so there's a bit of a trend, a dip, then a little peak, then down again, then that big rise up in the last few. So notice all this is in Excel, so we're looking at a line graph here. And, you know, we've got consumer price index, we've got the months labelled. Okay, in this case we've just numbered them, maybe we would like to do January, February, March, use words. I've got a chart title. So notice how much more information and how quickly you can gather that information from looking at the line chart versus just the table. So key, key there to keep that thought in mind. Now, you might want to play with things at this point. There's lots of different options you can do. Maybe I want to highlight the actual points, okay, that were the data points, and then I've got those connectors, but they're not observed, so I'm really highlighting the points. So I could do a different pattern here. So lots of different options, but as you can see, following over time to look for trends, so much nicer to look at that graph. You can also use a bar chart. You could just put these in bars instead of line graph. Line graph is also popular. Finally, everything we've looked at so far has been just one variable. What if I care about two things and I want to know the relationship between two things? Advertising and sales we talked about in the previous topic. So here I've got advertising level, sales levels. Oh, okay, so what's that telling me? Oh, well I can look for a while and it seems that bigger numbers in sales might have bigger numbers in advertising. Bit difficult to kind of see. Let's plot it. So this is called a scatter plot, where on one axis we have one variable, on the other axis we have the other variable, so they're the two variables. Notice sales in thousands, always give units on the y-axis, advertising in thousands on the x-axis. Now we can clearly see it looks like it's almost a pretty good straight line relationship, linear relationship. As we increase advertising, sales goes up. This is a good story that we're not wasting our money if we actually put more money into advertising. So much easier to extract that information quickly and communicate that easily to you know your managers to other people looking at the graph rather than looking at the table. So remember that one. 